All right, it's 5.30 in the morning and we've got everything ready to roll. So, San Juans, we're coming for you. Here we come. Well, we hit our first pass and the sun is still coming up. Back behind me, that is San Luis, which is one of Colorado's many 14ers. I love 14ers, but my love of walking has now been highly challenged by through hiking. So I haven't hiked any 14ers in a few years, but hopefully we'll get back to them someday. The mileage we went over today was consistently above tree line, so we were trying to get as much of it done as we could before the storms roll in. As you can probably hear, it's raining right yeah. now. Um, we went over five high points today and gained like 5,000 feet. I gotta give a shout out to my awesome, beautiful, amazing wife, because she did so good today. But anyway, she totally crushed it. We got over all five high points and we walked across this insanely huge mesa. It was like Kansas Prairie at 12,000 feet for like five miles in every direction. It was the weirdest thing ever, but really cool. We got all our miles done. When we were hiking down off the mesa, we met this guy named Ben, who is like a mountain climbing maniac. Hey, how's it going? I'm Ben. Climbed over 500 mountains, over 13,000 feet in Colorado. Had the pleasure of hiking out with these two guys today, last few miles. It's been a good day, lucked out with the weather. Awesome. And you've hiked all the 14ers? All the 14ers, at least twice. All right. <laughs> dude's, dude's an animal. All right, cool. Thanks, man. I can't even comprehend hiking 500 <laughs> mountains. That's just nuts. But he was super nice. He was fun to talk to. And he ended up giving us some trail magic. Today was a tough day, but we did it. Whistle did great. And. <gasps> you yeah. did great, too. Oh, thanks. So. Another day on the Colorado Trail. We're getting closer to Durango. Yep, we have like 125 miles left. Sounds good to me, man. Mm -hmm. Well, today was a lot. We started off early and we're up before the sun. I wasn't feeling super great this morning when we got going, but we Swung by the Colorado Trail yurt, which was really neat to see. Got me excited for yurt living. Gonna happen. Just don't know when. We went up and over the high point of the trail. So we've officially hit the roof. And we came down and we're at a little kind of tree alcove. We're planning on just hanging out there. We set our stuff out to dry because it was sunny and we are waiting for the storms and they just never came. So. We've been hanging out um, at this spot all afternoon. We were planning on camping here, um, but it actually didn't storm today at all. It hasn't rained, but we've had clouds come and go, um, but it's actually cleared off to where there's really no clouds behind us, and so we're gonna try to go over this next pass. Push and do this tonight, it'll make it to where we can be out of this for sure by tomorrow, which sounds really awesome. So, the first part of the day was great. We hiked like over 17 miles. We got done by like 12.30 or so, so we've been sitting here for about, probably like five hours now. Um, it's been nice to relax, but ready to go again, and so hopefully it's a good decision. <laughs> Basically, it was 20 miles, or if we went over the pass, it would be 16, which 16 is much easier to try to get done. Um, <laughs> in the before, morning. Yeah, before the storms roll in than 20. So basically by doing this extra little bit tonight, we've set ourselves up <coughs> to where we can get in <coughs> to Silverton on Friday instead of on Saturday, which is great because we're excited for some real food. Dreaming of fried chicken and Mexican food and all the things. Yeah, so, but today was awesome. Um, so many great views. We saw elk today, a lot of deer. Um, yeah, I mean, it was literally a perfect day. So we were hoping for great weather and it was an answer to prayer. So it was awesome. <laughs>